So this is part two. After further inspection, I realized that part one, I pretty much said everything already in the previous video. And I told you guys that I was back in the hospital. I'm not paying attention. I'm so like uh, out of it. Um, so you guys already know that they put me in recovery and I was in the holding room um when i first got there when they first induced my labor and i passed by the room to where um i gave birth and they sent me upstairs and stuff like that and then they was discharging me in that in that video but what i didn't tell you guys is that my nose actually bled that day too and i actually ran into the doctor that i told my nose was bleeding and the one who said that my 144 blood pressure was fine so i ran into her that night i pretty much seen every doctor that i've seen my whole pregnancy in the high risk doctor unit and um when i was in the hospital for the 12 days i've seen every doctor that day that was so crazy and um pretty much uh she was like yeah i remember and she gave me this other medication and then come to find out this medication that I take now for the uh, preeclampsia. I have to take it twice a day and um, if you don't take it, it causes a headache, which is a bitch. It will ruin your fucking day. Like, it's horrible. It's a cross between a migraine headache and a hypertension headache at the same time. Mostly migraines is more here. And hypertension, high blood pressure is back here. So it's like I had a full crown on across the back of my head. It was just horrible. I'm like walking around like this, crying and everything. It was horrible. Um, we finally got her to sleep in her own bassinet. Um, Devin partly helped that day where he had to be home by himself. Um, he just kept putting her in there. And then, um, as you could see, when I was back in the hospital um, not so long ago, I had her in there. And she was actually sleeping. And, um... Hold on a second. Yeah, so they sent me home with the medication. And then it was a big thing with my insurance. They didn't want to pay for the 60 pills they wanted to give me. They was going to give, um... Wanted to give me the pill in a bigger dosage so that I can cut it in half. Which is stupid. But anyway, um, end up getting a medication and, um, so far my blood pressures was good and then they were in a good range where I'm like, if they're under 120 and they're like maybe 73 or 80, like I'm not going to take the medicine. I didn't take the medicine for two days and I ate horribly because you know that I couldn't eat certain things during the pregnancy and the diabetes was gone. So I ate and then my blood pressure went high. It was like 130. 130 over 70 something and a pulse of 60 so top number was a little high but i was eating salty food but then i freaked out so then later on at night i took the med the medicine finally and that's when i had the worst headache that whole day like i felt so sad and depressed like uh it was horrible and then um from then on i just been making sure that i've taken it but i feel like i lost a lot of weight from the pregnancy uh, for me being plus size i was 252 and then and i'm 5'5 five five. i was 252 you guys know my job i work in post office i'm walking around constantly um at the beginning of pregnancy i lost a lot of weight i think i weighed 240 something um like 241 242 or something like that and then um during the pregnancy i just pretty much gained back everything that i lost so i ended up weighing two, 252 again um towards the end of the pregnancy now after i gave birth nobody weighed me um i recently had um my um appointment yesterday um uh, for my preeclampsia and they checked my weight and i weighed 232 first of all your girl can cross her legs okay you know like most people cross their legs i could never do because of all my thigh fat um I've been working out a little bit. I need to work out today. I'm trying to do it twice a day. Just light workouts. Um, I guess like after you get birth, you're not really supposed to be doing anything. But I'm trying to do like light crunches and um, push-ups. Get my upper body strength up and stuff like that. I mean, I haven't been working since September 20th. 
well, September 19th. And it's like when I go back to work in February, I need my arms to be strong so that I can carry these packages and so that I can deliver the mail and rack the mail because racking the mail, you know, is pretty tiring when you're going like this, putting stuff like that. After a while, your arm starts to get tired. Um, this one. Was sleeping. Now she's back up. So, making little puppy sounds. Me and her are both in onesies. Because that's how we roll. And, uh, so far, I'm finally let go to the point where. I'm so focused on watching her, watching her breathe and making sure she's okay and the fears of your baby getting SIDS. That's still a, f a fear of mine, but I'm kind of relaxing with it. I'm breastfeeding her. I'm, she doesn't like the pacifier. They say that that helps, though. And I'm just constantly watching her. Me and Devin take shifts with her so far as one person taking a nap, the other person's up with her or just up in case she gets up and allows the other person to sleep. And yesterday was the first time I actually got like five hours of sleep. Now, I didn't get five straight hours. I did jump up a few times and come check out like she okay or whatever. But um, I finally was able to relax. Like this is her dad. Like she's okay. You know, he has her. You know, it's like, I feel like, like he told me, he's like, you're, you want to control everything. You're not allowing yourself to relax. Like you're helping yourself get stressed out. And it's, it's true, you know, and it's like, um, yeah, I definitely needed that sleep because I, I was stressing myself out. And then now, you know, you see all these things about these vaccines and um, causing autism and all this stuff like that. And then it's like certain shots I don't want her to have. And it's like, I don't know what to do. And I'm just trying to be on a go with the flow kind of attitude. But then it's like, if it's your kid and, you know, certain things you don't want your kid to have, you know. You know, and you feel like the government and stuff is like, well, you need to have this or we're going to get involved. We'll take your kid from you kind of thing. Like you're being neglectful because I don't want my kid to get a shot that it's not proven that it's going to work for them. And it also have adverse effects, which can cause a ADD and um, autism and learning disabilities and stuff like that. So it's like, am I really wrong or am I being a good parent? You know, so. But, like I said, need to relax and just go with the flow and deal with those things as they come instead of worrying myself about this kind of stuff and just Googling, Googling, Googling stuff all the time and that kind of thing. So, so it is Wednesday and this week I would be 40 weeks and she's actually due on Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. Um, this Thanksgiving, I'm not cooking a big Thanksgiving like I did last year. I made turkey and the works, all the side dishes, and it was just me and Devin. My mom came over, and then one of his cousin's, um, girlfriends came over. And, um, it was just a waste. All that food. And, um, this year, I'm making a roast duck. I've had duck plenty of times. It's delicious. Um, we've made it before in one of those home rotisseries called, I forgot what it's called, but the commercial used to be like set it and forget it at my mom's house. So we made it there, but this time I'm going to make it in my oven and, um, hopefully it comes out delicious and I'm going to have a side of like some roasted garlic potatoes or something with it. And that's it. It's just me and him. Sabrina can't have anything cause she's still a baby. Maybe she'll taste it later in my breast milk. And that'll be her Thanksgiving, <laughs> her Thanksgiving dinner. But other than that, like, we're just trying to deal with life and enjoy being a parent and giving her the world and opening her eyes to all the opportunities that this crazy world has to offer. Um, like I said, um, 
We do want more children. I don't know if people think, oh, it's too soon. You say you want another kid after all you've been through? Yes. Because I have lost weight and I weigh 232 now, um, I feel like I just need to lose another three, another 300. What is, what's wrong with me? I just lose another 33 pounds, which will put me at 199 and I will finally be out of the 200s. Um, and then, you know, I can continue going down from there, but to finally be out the 200s would be amazing. The fact that I'm in the 230s is amazing because I knew I lost weight. Certain clothes, first of all, I was still wearing my, my pregnant, pregnancy pants, my maternity pants, and they were falling off me. And then I finally put on a pair of jeans that I used to wear before I was pregnant, post-pregnancy. And I'm like, babe, like these legs, they're like so baggy. And before they used to be skin tight. And I'm like, they're so baggy right now. And when I went to the doctor yesterday, I kind of found out I lost weight. So I'm like, I'm like ecstatic. Like I haven't weighed this less in a long time. Like I'm so close to the 20s. Like in my face. I didn't really have any fat in it, no double chin, nothing. But my pregnancy, I didn't really have a double chin, but everything is pretty much down. I have shape to my face. My face isn't, like, fat. And um, that's about it. I mean, I'm going to keep continue to keep you guys informed about her progress and what's going on with her. And I'm going to try to start vlogging more about keeping in shape. Um, what I want to do is by the time she's two years old, we can start um, trying for another baby. Or when she's the year that she's going to be two. So maybe when she's a year old, because she's a year old in November, maybe in December, we'll be trying. You know, or March we'll be trying. Something like that. So that by the time she's two... Then we'll be having another baby so that they can be two years apart. Me and Devin both, we don't have any siblings. So um, we want our children to have siblings. We want our kid to have a sibling. Because um, we both come from big families where they have siblings and stuff like that. And, you know, the relationships that they have with each other are amazing. And it's sad that we, we don't know what that's like. We rely on cousins, but... Having a cousin is not the same as having a sister or a brother. And the fact that you're able to have nieces and nephews, we will never have nieces and nephews because we don't have any siblings. You know what I'm saying? So I want her to have that. Um, it doesn't matter to me if I have another girl or if I have a boy, but it would be nice to have one, one of each, you know, a little me and a little him. Even though they say, you know, the little girls are daddy's girl and the boys are mama, mama's boy. So, you know. Um, also, I don't find it weird to call myself a mom because I've had cats for such a long time. Now, I know I don't try to roast me for this. Like, oh, my God, you're comparing kids to cats. No. You know, people who have pets. You know, especially me all my life having cats. I always call myself their mom. So I've always used that verbiage. So me saying that about myself, it doesn't feel weird. It's just now it has um, true meaning to it. And um, for me saying, oh, your daughter to Devin or, or if I'm talking to her, I'm like, oh, you see daddy. I never really used that verbiage when it came to the cats with him. So that's new. It doesn't feel weird for me. I don't know how it feels to him. Does it feel weird when I say that to you? What? Like, oh, um, come get your daughter or look at your daughter. <laughs> or I'd be like, oh, you see daddy. It makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so you say it makes him happy. And, um, yeah, we just, we're taking everything day by day. This is her. Behind me is all the crap that I got from Comic Con that we're supposed to be selling still. So, excuse excuse that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is Sabrina sleeping on mommy in her Minnie Mouse onesie. I forgot who got this for her. I think Grandma got this for her.
trying to get her to sleep so I can put her back in her crib because mommy is supposed to be taking a nap right now so that Devin can go to sleep later and then I can be up and you know if she gets up and stuff like that so that's how we we do things I love her so much Oh, you know how people say, oh, you'll never know love until you have a kid. And I said, joke, like, I got cats already. So, and they're like, no, it's different. And, um, I love her. I don't feel a difference until, like, the situation with, um, they not letting me take her upstairs. Like, that just came out of me, that, that emotion. Or, like, when she got her shot. It just came out of me like I wanted to cry because my baby's crying. Or like um, when Devin was changing her and she's crying. Or like if I'm trying to put her to sleep and she's crying and crying and crying. And it's just like gut-wrenching. Your heart is like in your throat. You're like, oh my God, my poor baby. Like what can I do to get you to stop crying? Like I want to cry too. Like I'm not hurting you. Like, you know. But I love her so much. I'm always watching her, looking at her, and already I can see differences in her face as she's getting older. Um, even though she's only two weeks and three days old, I still see um her face is getting older. Her mouth is not so like tight. Like let's get more like me. Her mouth is like mine, but her eyes are like her daddy's. At first, I was like, who does she look like? Most people, when they have kids, I'm like, oh, you know, the baby looks like the mom or the dad. And people are like, it's too early to tell. But usually I can see it. And then when I had her, I'm like, who does she look like? But from her nose up, she looks like daddy. And her, her mouth and chin looks like me. So... Like I said, I'm going to keep you guys updated as what's going on. I still don't have a good camera. I actually found my Canon camera charger and everything. And does it make sense? Devin found a nice new app to edit videos. So I think I'm going to start editing videos on my phone. And then upload it. And it'll be so much better. But, uh... Other than that, that's it. Until our next vlog. Bye-bye, Bina. Bye-bye.